A few days ago, I received a delivery that I'm really quite excited about. Now this was from Bluetti and it's the AC70 power station. Now we've only got a small van and we have a 350 watt power station uh, for our 12 watt volt system, which works things like the pump for the tap, our LED lights, uh, recharges our 12 volt television and a couple of USB sockets. And we recharge that with solar panel. Now, we have another power station, uh, a 500 watt uh, power station, you know the ones, the orange ones. So we've had that for about three years. And we use that for things like a fridge box and for charging multiple devices. But now I've got e-bikes and I want to be able to go away for a night or two and use my e-bikes. And if I'm uh, wild camping with no electric hookup, I want to be able to recharge uh, those bikes. I also want to use my induction hob. Now I have, now even though the induction hob uh, runs from something like 120 watt up to, I think it's 2400, when you start it off, it immediately goes up to about 1400 watt and that just trips out our 500 watt power station. Now this thing here has got a, a, a way around that and in fact it's an, it's an amazing uh, uh, extra that this power station has. So let's get into it and take a look. Right, let's take a look at the display. First of all, we're going to turn the unit on. Just press and hold this button. You'll hear the fan kick in for a while, which is quite normal. And then we have the DC button here. Press that if you're going to use any of the DC outlets. And then the same goes for the AC. Press that. And then if you're going to use any AC outlets, again, you would press that. So we'll just turn that off. Now let's look at the display itself. Now obviously here in the middle, you can see 100%. So the unit is charged to 100%. And on the left here, it says DC input. Now if you're using solar panels or charging it from the vehicle with this socket here, that's gonna show you what's coming in there. And underneath that is DC output. And if you've got sockets plugged in, to, things plugged into the DC sockets, that's going to tell you what you're drawing from the machine. On the other side, it's the same again, but it's AC. So if you're using the kettle lead around the side here, that'll show you what you're drawing there, what you're putting in there, I should say, and then AC output. So if you're using these sockets, for example, it's going to tell you what you're drawing from the machine. And then at the bottom here, it says 99.9 .9 hours. That's what the machine has got left in it. Once you start plugging things in, obviously that's going to drop down and it will show you you know the amount of time you've got to so for example if you plug quite a lot in it and that drops down to something like six hours it's going to tell you that you've got six hours using those things that you've got plugged into the unit at that particular time i hope that made sense and just press and hold again now of course to turn the unit off just press and hold and the unit will go off so i've downloaded the app and you can see it just here now you have to have the unit turned on which i'm doing now and they will connect as normal you can hear it powering up there in the background and then if I open the app here my device is AC 70 and there you are and it's showing straight away that it's powered up 100% and you can turn on the DC here like that and the same for the AC and also turn it off so the good thing with that is uh, if you've got something connected to your power station and you're working your way back to the van, for example, you can turn it on, you know, uh, from outside of the van. Um, same thing for turning it off. If you got forgot to turn it off, then you can use this app like that. Now, there's quite a few things you can do with this. Obviously, the important thing is to know what power you've got in it and you can control your DC and your AC. But if you go up to the top here to settings, you'll see power lifting here now it's got a somebody like you know with the arm a muscly arm there power lifting and if you turn that on like that now what that will do so you can now see that muscly arm just here on the display let me just pull it away a bit so you can maybe see it a bit better so you can see that muscly arm just here on the display now what that does, that's going to let this unit power something up to 2000 watts. I mean, 
<laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? I don't know how it does it. It's all the jiggery pokery inside this uh, unit, but that is fantastic. So what we're going to do now is try these things out. First of all, with the induction hob, I want to see if I'm going to power that up and if this, I can't see how this would trip out, but we'll do that. And then we'll move on to Suzanne's hair dryer, straighteners, and anything else we want to try while we're, we're at it. Right, so before we see what it can actually do, let's have a look at the input and output sockets. Now on the side here, there is no uh, charging block with this unit. It's what we would always call here in the UK a kettle lead. You'll recognize that as a sort of lead that always went into your kettle. And that goes into this side here. There is also a grounding screw that comes with it. Now I'm not certain with that, it's the first time I've seen it. I believe that is for, if you had this set up permanently for, exa permanently, for example, in a van, you would make sure you would earth it using that there. Now it has two AC output sockets here, 230 volt. And the good thing about those is that they are, uh, one is one way, as you can see, upside down if you like, and then there's that one. Now that's good for the adapters and things you get where they've got probably a bit of a block on the bottom of them. And, you know, so the wires are not going to get ta tangled up and they're not going to get in the way of each other. It also has two USB-C, they're 100 watt, one each side here, two USB 12 watt um, USB-A's. It also has your typical 12 volt cigarette lighter socket here. That would be, uh, that's an output there. That would be for anything that needs that kind of output. Typically your freezer boxes and things like that. And input wise, this here is for your solar panels and for the charger that comes from the vehicle. Um, that's typically the one there, as you can see. That's the one that you plug into your vehicle to charge it up. This one here for your solar panels, as you can see there. Uh, yeah, so what we need to do now is to see exactly what it can do. Right, so I'm in the van and I want to do some cooking. Now this is the induction hob that I bought. Uh, and I bought it because I thought the 500 watt power station that I had would work it. And if you look on here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it runs between 120 watt and 2100 watts. So I just assumed that I'd plug it in and lower, you know, lower the settings down to lower than 500 to use it. But that's not the case. When it fires up, it's much higher. We'll check it out in a moment. But this should work perfectly well. So first of all, let's try it. So we'll put the AC on. And then we'll fire it up. And immediately that's gone to 1250 watt, as you can see. And that is why the uh, 500 watt system that I got was um, tripping out. So this one is working at 1200. I'll bring that down because that's actually already getting hot in there. So I don't need to put this onto the boost. I haven't got the boost on it. So this is fantastic. So I'm going to be able to cook things on this um, induction hob. I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be able to cook things on this induction hob using the power station as it is. I thought I'd have to go into boost, but I don't. And I do know that this 1000 watt uh, power station does give a bit of extra if you need it. And that's obviously the case because as soon as I fired this up, it went to 1200 and it was fine. So there we go, I'm on level three, uh, level two, level one. Now level one, it says on the paperwork here is 120 watt. And that's actually showing nothing at all. So for, oh right okay because these they work like that don't they just stay with me these things work like that they sort of work and then stop and work and stop that's what they do so we're on level two and it will keep switching on and off yeah by the way this is going to work without the boost being applied so I'm really pleased about that I can now do all of the cooking in the van using this induction hob. So let's really bring it up. Level six, and that's cut out. Level six, it went to 1300 watts. 
and it's cut out so I do need to apply that boost if I want to go even hotter so let's just cancel that and bring that back in turn this on it starts immediately at let's bring it in I'm on level 5 and that's uh, about between 11 12 and 12 and a half hundred watts there So there we go, even at uh, 1250 watt, this thing isn't tripping out at no more than level 5. If I was to apply that uh, boost, then this would be able to go to 4, no problem at all. But I'm not going to need that because you can see how quickly these induction hobs heat things up. <laughs> so there we are, fantastic. So there we go. I now know that the AC70 will power my induction hob and that's going to be really beneficial to me in the future because I'm trying to get away from gas. But there's a couple of other things that would really please Suzanne. She has always wanted to be able to use her hair straighteners and particularly her hair dryer in the van if we're not on electric hookup. Now this apparently will be able to do that because of that smart little trick that it's got. And as we know, hair dryers can be really, they use a lot of power. So let's give it a go and see if it's gonna put a smile on Suzanne's face. Right, Suzanne's sitting there with her hair dryer and hoping that this AC70 power station is gonna do the trick, aren't you? Now we do know that her hair dryer runs between 1600 and 1900 watts and the unit itself is a thousand watts, but it has that special little boost facility. So if I open the app here, as you can see, and then go into settings and power lifting, bring that in. And then you can see there, just there, the little muscly arm. So I'm going to bring that in now, Suzanne, AC, try it on its lowest settings. Right, and you can see it going up here, up again, if you could, please. Is that the highest? Right, so that's drawing 765 watts, which doesn't make sense at all. Right, we had a whole lot of confusion there. <laughs> now, that ha the hair dryers that Suzanne has shows between 1600 and 1900 watt. Now, I applied that boost to this, and for some reason, at maximum, it was only showing 700 and something watt. Now, I don't know if it's some other sort of jiggery pokery, but I've disabled the boost or turned it off. So, if you switch that on now, Suzanne, in normal mode, and there you go, it's, it's cut it off, it's tripped it off and showed 1500 and something watts, not with the boost on. Now what I'll do is I'll go back into the app here and use the power lifting, like that. Now if you switch them on, let me just put AC on, yeah okay. At the maximum. Now it's showing 765. Are we on now? Right, now it's showing 766. Now that's half of what it would be, so I don't know what's happening with the electronics in there, but without that boost, <laughs> this wouldn't work. So I'm sure you're happy about that, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Right, so she yeah. can happily yeah. dry her hair. Okay, so, yeah, okay, a little bit more. <laughs> right, so, I hope that makes sense. What we did was we put it on without the boost, that's the little muscly arm there, and uh, it tripped it out, it went to 1500 watt, and tripped the machine out, which you'd expect it to because it's working at 1000 watt. But it confused me because when we put the boost on, it was only showing 760 watt. Now we did that first and I said, well, they can't be working properly because they're between 16 and 1900. Anyway, <laughs> what this thing does somehow is when you put the boost on, it doesn't show the full 
wattage. It halves it. So how that works, I don't know. But the good news is that Suzanne can use the hair dryer. Yeah, the 1600 to 1900 watt hair dryers using the AC70 1000 watt power station. So this is what you get delivered with your AC70. You get the uh, user manual just here and you get your warranty card just here. You get the 12 volt charge cable for charging within your vehicle. You get solar panel charging cable and the AC charge cable here. You also get this little earthing screw. So there you go. That's the Bluetti AC70. And I'm sure that's going to be fantastic for us in the van, you know, in the future. Now, don't forget to check in the description below for any discounts. And if you found the video helpful, why don't you consider giving us a thumbs up? Um, leave a comment. What do you think? What do you think about the unit? And if you really found it helpful, why don't you consider subscribing? Anyway, thank you again to Bluetti and uh, I'll see you on the next one. We're Paul and Suzanne, and we'd love you to join us on Our Days Out.